half. The Commodores have hit all five of the shots that they have thrown up to the rim. Took a one-point deficit at the break, and now lead it by nine. Octavius Caldwell Pope, Georgia's leading score, sitting on two, or one for four from the floor. I should say second leading score, Bill Robinson at 14 points a game. And Jurisic had a look at it from behind the arc. Rebound to Robinson, up to Vincent Williams, who just checked in. Also checking in for the Bulldogs, John Cannon wearing number 41. He's on the floor because Thornton and Dante Williams saddled with two fouls, as does Caldwell Pope. So three of Georgia's starters out of the lineup. Standpoint. Absolutely. I mean, he, he has struggled a little bit as of late, but an important component. You have a senior point guard. You have a guy that's been through the battles, and this group has so much experience together. Not just experience playing, but experience playing together, which matters. Robinson dumps it into Jurisic. Gerald Robinson, who had a... Dante Williams, free throw line, jumper in and out. Jurisic will try it. He got it to go. Fresh shot clock, however. Robinson comes off a double screen. Jurisic pops out. Long three from Nimi. Got it. Georgia leads. Foul, hit threes, pass the basketball. Jurisic certainly one of them. Boss probably should have taken it himself. Caldwell Pope off to Jurisic. Another nice pass, and Jurisic with a floor by Jurisic. Two points. It, there's no other word to describe it but an even for the Georgia offense in the first 10 minutes, but they're staying attached. I mean, they're not allowing South Carolina to get too far away. Their defense is going to have to hold up so they can find a way to get this offense turned on. When you're at the midway point of a half and you're shooting 9%, yeah, that's an even. Williams, Jurisic, and that's a high percentage shot. The penetration. Lord Vargas, it's an excellent shot blocker. Rebounder having a great presence on both ends of the floor for Kentucky. I really feel like Reese should play more. You know, one of the things for Kentucky, people talking about their weaknesses heading into the NCAA tournament, I would say depth. They only play six guys, guys like Aloy Vargas, Kyle Wiltshire. These are guys that can play consistent minutes on both ends of the floor, and I think they need more playing time. The offensive rebound and the putback and the 50-50 ball he just grabbed right there. Robinson spins, Jurisic for three. Robinson, Jurisic again on the follow. Bulldog basketball, Coldwell Pope. Jurisic gets the follow. Billy gets up on the floor and extends, but they can't press Carter because they're not scoring. Jurisic tries to take Murphy off the dribble, right to the rim. How about Nimi Jurisic? And just picks up right where he left off. So, Dino, what else, other than putting the ball in the basket, what else does Georgia need to do today to have a chance at upsetting the Gators? It's imperative they guard the three-point line, like we talked in the pregame. Nobody makes more threes per game than the Florida Gators, so they must guard the three-point line. Jerison scores inside. That's Nimi. Why not? Jerison with a follow. couple of freshmen getting the job chance one day to play professional basketball because he's seven feet he can turn and shoot facing jump shots that's a skill that a lot of folks are looking for there is such that time he went straight up with it and got the bucket as a result and mark fox with a good adjustment to use the zone to double both johnny o'brien and justin hamilton inside Dogs keep it alive, and all of a sudden there's Durasic, who gets the garbage. Ball moves around to the wing, and Robinson's right there to grab it and stick it in the net. 
Larry, three straight turnovers for Vanderbilt. That's a dozen on the day. They average 13 on the year per game. Jurisic to the basket. His layup is good. How about Jurisic? Back to Thornton. That won't go. Jurisic with the tap. First step is so quick. Hard to keep up with him. Mark Fox has to be thrilled with the fact that his club has the lead with Contavious Caldwell Pope on the bench. Jurisic got it to go. I don't think he left in this ball game. Georgia trailing South Carolina 50-48. Gamecocks trying to snap a five-game losing streak overall and win just their second conference game of the season. And they hope perhaps jumpstart them to a strong finish to this season. Jurisic, jump hook, game tied again. Unstoppable shot. Jump 23 and Mississippi State by seven. Jurisic inside, hook shot, hooks it in. Georgia in the lead. Skips the shooter's roll. He is scoring at will. 15 points now for D. Boss while keeping everybody else involved as well with three assists. Coming off that double-double where he had 15 points and 13 assists against the Rebels. Boy, and he's done a nice job defensively too, Barry. Exactly. He has been on Gerald Robinson, who came into this game with a lot of confidence off his career high of 27 on Wednesday night. But Boss has controlled it. Sydney was out top with a little help defense. And all of a sudden you saw Dante Williams just thud to the ground. D. Boss has done a really nice job against Gerald Robinson today. Has kept him pretty well under control. Jurisic will shoot that three. <laughs> wow. Problem from Thursday night fixed when they had to go to the air horn, but they've gone old school again. We heard the horn get stuck earlier this afternoon and so they just scrap it go with what we know will work number 42 nemi jurisic checking into the lineup and, and mike anderson of course the longtime assistant under nolan richardson and uh, involved in that situation as well Back on the sidelines here in Arkansas. We got another another strongly held belief, and that is that Mike Anderson's career at Arkansas will uh, will end up being better than Nolan Richardson's numbers as head coach at Arkansas with a national title and multiple in from the field. Six out of seven at the line, blocked by Mickelson, but right into the hands of Jurisic. He will fire for three and got it. <laughs> Letting that Georgia Bay knocked out some shots and sacrificing his body there. Trying to come up with the ball for the Hogs. Even if the Razorbacks lose this ball game, they need to show some fight here tonight. Have some of the plays like Wade has made here lately. 12 minutes all night. In the corner, Jurisic score the basket right now and go, go, go press, go pick him up. You can't get the steal fast. Oh, I saw a lot of things over the years. It's pretty well. I saw Muhammad Ali here one night, walked right by me, shook hands with me. He was 18 years old and heading for the Olympics. How about that? I keep giving you these nuggets. I know. Oh, wait, you see that back? Court score Georgia with 30 points from their backcourt. Only 11 backcourt points from Tennessee. Yeah, we're throwing Caldwell Pope into that group because he really is a perimeter player, even though he does play a lot of small forwards. How about Jurisic? He said, I need more out of you besides scoring. We need for you to do the defensive work, the rebounding, the passing, everything. And, uh, so anyway, uh, he kind of sent a message to him. This time, comes free to Dustin Ware. Did you watch Anthony Davis defensively? 
I've seen him guard all five positions within one possession. They don't panic when he's out of alignment. That's how good he is defensively. Will Robinson, nice dish inside to Jurisic. That he alters in your mind. Ware's going to take a three to stay away from that. Loose ball rebound, Jurisic. Trying to power back up, and he did. It's bigger, as Jimmy and I said the last time we did him, than you think. 6'7", and over 230 pounds. Yeah, there's a lot of NBA scouts in the building, and they're all focusing on Anthony Davis, but the next guy in the conversation is Michael Kidd Gilkis. Here is it. Another three for the big guy. Handling number three, but he did miss the shot, and Robinson will clear it. Interesting, Kentucky doesn't overextend on their defense with a shot blocker like Davis. Oh! miss, and the loose ball that time created the offense. Three. No good for Nolte. Got his own rebound. That's the hustle Georgia needs. And when you shoot the ball, you know where it's coming off. And Nolte smartly went and got it. Jurisic, twisting, gets it to go. Blocked by Jurisic. Maimon, Jr. transferred in from Marquette. Jurisic working on McBee, takes it inside. Nice work by the freshman. That's a big time play, and that's why Trey Golden is the most improved player in the SEC. Jurisic gets it to Ware. Ware hit his first shot of the game, a three pointer. Jimmy Jurisic working down to Vernon Davis. Welcome to Memorial Gymnasium in Vanderbilt. Dave Baker alongside Barry Booker, Georgia and Vanderbilt. He's now 25. By the way, you and I both look like a bum today at shooter. Yes, we did. According to Coach. Yep. Hook shot. There's the guy that's been the only bright spot. Mm -hmm. Georgia survives a live ball turnover. And Jay Rome, number 33 on that low block, is a year ago he was the number one high school recruit at the tight end position. Red shirted for Mark Rick's ball club this year. They like his brute force down low. Jurisic will try another three. And he got it on a bounce. Jurisic. Lead goes to 20. Boy, the timing for Florida's on ball action, Brad, has been terrific. Most college guards go, go too quick. Florida's guards have been very good. Bradley Beal with 12 to lead the way for either team. Jurisic, and he drops down a triple. Really been the only scoring low post player now surrounded by three point shooters. John Tell Evans, talk about national defensive players of the year. John Tell Evans for Virginia is an absolute bulldog. And that trigger half court defense for Virginia. That'll be a heck of a ball game. 7 0 run in the last minute 25, and it was all Mike Rosario. Georgia had cut into that lead and had played good half court offense. This is the guy that's helping the cause. Jurisic. Look <laughs> out. He was a one man wrecking crew. Jurisic flashes, missed the jump hook, keeps it alive, still in bounds, and scores. How about that? Hey, early on, this has got to be the best three point shooting this Alabama team has put on display so far this year. They are 11 and 3 right now, and they haven't shot the three ball this well all season. Now, they came in at just 27%. Anything under 30% is not good. Alabama stays in their zone defense. Robinson's baseline drive. He's in trouble. Jurisic wide open. What is it about Alabama? This team to the NIT finals. They lost to Wichita State. Tell you one thing, he certainly upgraded his schedule, his November, December part of the schedule anyway, to start this season. 
One of the reasons why they've got that 18 RPI ranking right now. Not only upgraded the schedule, but upgraded his results. Williams off the screen. Jurisic down the lane. Big man with a right hand. Staying man, getting over screens. Robinson sets up where? Good pass into the corner. Jurisic, wow. Jump hook shot. He's going to get away with it. Sure is. He can take one extra one and get by with it. He's in good shape. In the NBA, that might, that might be a highlight. There's your boy Pope. Nice pass inside. Nice give and go. Jurisic. Middleton from 17. Nolte with a rebound. Jurisic hasn't missed yet. I'm telling you what. Maybe Playing man to man. This is Nolte up top. They're trying to help as much as they possibly can on screens and not switching screens. They just what we refer to as helping uh, against the giver on the set screens. Look at Jurisic. Oh boy. Matt Morgan is into the game for Winthrop number five. Give him a little bit more size. Robinson. Deep, Jurisic feeling it and hits the freshman. Freshman, the leading scorer on this Georgia team. Valentine takes it strong, misfires, and there's Williams with a strong rebound. Williams wants to run. Jurisic, beautiful finish. The big man lays it in. Eight to shoot. Hanging and missing the shot, but there's Jurisic on the tip in. Well, that was a nice, patient, offensive set by the Jackets. Jurisic shot the window. How about that shot, huh? A lot of pressure. Give him deep positioning. It's over. It's lights out. Yancey Gates is going to score. It really personifies the steady improvement this team has made over the last four years. Nice cut to the basket by Harris Tunks. Ware brings it the other way for Georgia. Looking for their first field goal of the second half. And finally, he can do it all. The windmill dunks, the through the leg dunks, off the backboard windmill, through the leg dunks. He's defensively on Gerald Robinson, who's in the game. He did not start. They want to see greater leadership from Gerald. And outside, it's Nemi. But I'm sure the, the third on Lyon. I'm sure the coaches at halftime found out these guys are overplaying. Where with the extra pass? Jurisic. Four or something like that. But uh, now when you've shot a 20 or 21 free throws and the other guy hasn't shot any, you'd think you'd be 12, 15 points ahead. It's the three point shooting and rebounding of Georgia against the free throw shooting of Notre Dame tonight. Notre Dame's back in the zone now. Kind of an overloaded 2-3. Jurisic again spins and gets the bounce. Back-to-back -back buckets for Jurisic. The floor. Jaron Grant with 15 points tonight, plus that play. He's 8 of 9 from the free throw line, and he's the biggest reason why Notre Dame's still got a chance in this game. Caldwell Pope. Abramitis try to stay with him. Jurisic, bang it inside, jump hook goes. Now he should not. Better than 15 a game a year ago for Notre Dame, just two points tonight. But some of his younger teammates are picking up the slack. Jeremy Grant and Pat Connaughton have combined for 20 points tonight for the Irish. Abramitis has been too anxious to score tonight. He's trying to go to the score rather than letting the score opportunity come to him. George is pretty deep on the baseline. It's awfully crowded down there right now. Robinson finds Jurisic. He's hit one three and he hits another.
feet a little bit. If he goes up with his shoulders in front of his feet, then that's the best position he could be shooting from. And you've got to just don't put him on the line. The three for Juris. Robinson again, Jurisic driving and lays it in. Things going a little bit better with this end of the floor right now for Georgia. So at the skill level that Caldwell Pope has, he's an extraordinarily talented player, the most talented player on the team. It's just a matter of time. Jurisic misses it. Florvius, but a... In shooting the basketball coming off the screen. Get good footwork, get your set, feet set, and then let it go, which he did. Here comes the ball screen again. The kickback. Jurisic is wide open, and the same thing happened again, right? They say you just can't allow that. That's three points that they when he went after that ball on the board, saved it from going out of bounds. This game's a little quicker paced than the last one you did. Notre Dame struggling with that quickness. Look at Jurisic muscling his way in. And makes it a two-point. Jordan Crawford, he was aggressive early, but he's been quiet of late. So Bowling Green looking to their backcourt to try to get them on track offensively. Crawford not lacking confidence or swagger. Nice move inside the Jurisic. And, and, and it's, I love it, Mike, to see seniors in college basketball because they've been, been through the battles. They've got plenty of games under their belt. They know how to play. And it just makes the game so much easier for he and his teammates. A nice move by the big man, Juris.